All right, folks, time has come. It's Saturday evening. It's going on about 6.30. I just got the yard the way, not the way I really wanted it. But, uh, boy, perfect timing. Come on, you bunch of pigs. Go on now. Let me explain a little bit of what I did here today. Let's keep an eye out for those bowls. Come on, take it easy. They're excited. I moved the, uh, the mineral tub, obviously, filled it up with 100 pounds of wind and rain mineral. Created a uh, corn fodder corn fodder field back there. Uh, about ten bales. I want them to uh, mess that up themselves. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to ingrain it into the ground. Basically, I want them to make their base uh, of lay down over there, and uh, the base is going to be corn fodder. I'm about a week away, week and a half away from burning in a hay buster and um, spreading out and shooting out, I don't know, four, five, six, seven bales or so. I moved a couple of rings. Uh, they got one dry bale of hay in a ring. I moved one stock tank. It's only a little two by six. It's gonna have to do for now. The bigger one, the two and a half by seven, they need to empty that. And then uh, the feed mill put their uh, their order in, their Sioux Steel order for the spring, summer, the year. Uh, I got two six foot diameters coming. But uh, that's set out for the time being and the water is running and the gate's down even though the Fencers are all off. Feel good? kind of hoping they'd all head towards the corn fodder, you idiots. Go on, get you a little bit of that mineral now. Let me let me explain to you my intentions, what my intentions were this fall. This was graded down like a darn parking lot for God's sakes. And I did that in the late, late fall. In fact, the ground was had a little bit of freeze to it. I dissed it up a couple times and then I dragged it. My intentions. I better make sure I got all my bases covered here. Yeah, that corner fence is closed. Get on out of there now. Get away. Am 
My intentions were to have it like a parking lot and freeze solid. So it'd be just a little a little nicer around here. Here comes the young bull in the dead of winter. Because trust me, there was nothing but uh, ankle busters and uh, ankle breakers and bead busters out here. Which is the reason I did it. There's the young guy right there. You better check yourself, son. Well, it didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out that perfectly. We got a hell of a snowstorm, as I've said a thousand times here this winter. We got a hell of a snowstorm um, a day or two after Thanksgiving. And forget the freeze. That's one of the bigger. That's one of the major players of why the cattle stayed in the yard all winter. This would have just been an absolute disaster. Now the truth of the matter is, yeah, I roughed it up a bit today because I had to do what I had to do. I had to drive in there. But you know what? This yard is a hell of a lot better than where they've been. Period. End of story. This probably makes me about as happy as it makes them. So that's the reason behind that. Um, I don't know if I ever explained that before. The other thing I had done is this front entrance. You know, you're driving in and out of here. Uh, that and... Uh, Anyway, I had brought in just a pile of sand, which uh, held up real, real nice. Very happy with that. This entire area here, this front drive. Here comes big boy. And there's 1021. You crazy, mama? A good look at 1021 before big boy gets over here I tell you what I got the fencers off right now because I had to mess with some fences but I don't know if that's the wisest thing right now I'm kind of all over the board here folks my apologies gun stock lots going crazy there is uh, four to five strands of wire separating these lots here. The problem is I don't have the electricity on. <coughs> is that your Saturday night love call there, big boy, or what is that? Yeah? All right. Teach their own. Yeah, it, this, this didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought they were all going to head for the corn fodder. Oh, I'll knock all that off. I know you're excited, but quit it. Now you're just putting on a damn show. Show off. Shake your head at me. I got the ranger right here, folks. Yeah, I know. It's Saturday night. I feel the same way, buddy. Too bad none of these girls are in heat there for you. That was probably a little bit too much there, folks, but that was farming talk. So anyway, that was my terrible explanation on what my intentions were with the yard. Life didn't work all perfect. Well, I tell you what, if you caught uh, last night's little jibber-jabber video, um, I had stated that we had rain coming, 
boy did we get that rain. We were slated for over a quarter inch. I'm here to tell you we got well above that. I guarantee it. Things were quite a mess this morning. Uh, I hauled no manure today. Uh, I figured I might possibly do more damage than good. Uh, so I left it alone today. I'm going to get back to it tomorrow. Because by 11 o'clock this morning, the sun came out. We got a pretty, uh, pretty nice breeze. Things dried out. So uh, I spent the first half of my day taking care of a bunch of little stupid honeydews, stuff you put off all the time. And uh, after lunch 30, um, I started getting this yard in order. 1021 is just going nutty back there. That's good. They're happy. It's like a fresh haircut, ain't it? Go on. Oh, there goes big boy. Oh, I should have turned that fencer back on. Uh, that's a pile of uh, some manure and corn fodder that big boy's messing up right now. That had to get dug out of this corral system, which is just a disastrous joke. When we uh, went after vaccinations and separations in December, that had to be removed. So one of the main gates was able to open and close. But uh, oh, holy shit, they're going nuts. There you go. Take it easy. You'd think you guys never had mineral before, for crying out loud. Jeez. Hey, make room now. Uh, where's the young bull? That's him right here, isn't it? Nope. Get out of there. So, truth of the matter is, I started this just a little too early, folks. Uh, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake here and opened up this corral gate here to this yard. Otherwise, I was going to take down the two strands of fence over here, which I have to do yet. Some of them are just a little confused. <coughs> I also am not closing down the yard tonight it's going to remain open because they have some feed out there and i want them to finish uh draining the uh the bigger uh stock tank so that i can move it and i need to get a splitter tomorrow's sunday morning so i'm probably going to make a menards run no better time to do that on a sunday morning and uh, I need to set that other stock tank up here as well. I need to get a splitter and uh, so both of them can get filled up. And then they have the automatic waterer inside the shelter, which is just awful right now. But it's the time of the year. It happens every year. It's the nature of the beast. Ten seventy four was due today per calendar. You've heard me talk about her before, and uh, no signs of bagging up. Um, well, she's good and pregnant, but no signs of bagging up. Uh, this is one of five animals that I had purchased later in the year last year, and uh, I can assume their AI breeding did not take place, and then their bull that they brought in got her uh, about uh, two, two and a half weeks later. So, yeah, otherwise she's doing real good. This is another one here that came from the same place. They kind of all stick together. 1068, I forget what her due date was. I think it's in about two weeks. And uh, she was bred by way of bull. <coughs> sure wish you'd quit it. A pesky Holstein. This is a Holstein Angus cross right here. Never fails. Let's 
So, yeah. So the plan here is that they're, uh, this is, this is going to be their grounds for a little while, just a little bit. Another week, week and a half, I'm going to bring the hay buster in, spread all that over there. Hopefully that's, you know, where the smart ones will actually come and have their calves for God's sakes. And then mother nature and uh, sunshine dependent. Um, in about another week, week and a half, I'll be opening up the, uh, the top of the hill. Obviously, it's the top of the hill. It goes without saying. It stays nice and dry up there. And I will be uh, hauling corn silage up there. They'll get everything else down here, all their hay, mineral, and, of course, obviously, their water needs. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, there's, there's no signs of her bagging up. She's weeks away. Which means the AI didn't take, but that's that's just that happens. There's fresh water over there, and you're gonna drink that stuff. Get out of there! Come on, what's wrong with you? <clears throat> uh, bulls are busy back there, so I guess we'll take a little walk and hope they don't beat up my ranger too bad. Okay, yeah, I remember this. I had to redo it. I couldn't find it in the snowstorm. Well, there it is. Come on. picked up a bunch of these for paddock separations this year, some newer ones, and uh, they kind of work nice here for stuff like this too. Keeps it from hitting the ground, which we all know you don't want, for obvious reasons. mess of spaghetti oh. <coughs> I got a couple left behind yeah so I'll, I'll take the rest of the rings in tomorrow morning and uh, they're gonna get their corn silage out here. And uh, by mid to late morning, I will be shutting all this and uh, what we call the yard, the yard will be completely closed off so that I can get in here and uh, <laughs> keep hauling, hauling, hauling. Uh, 469 is way back there. She's got a horrific, case of uh, foot rot on her front left uh, for anybody that doesn't know and it's okay that you don't know that's very common excuse me let's just say it's common you're just not going to hear a lot about it I've got no shame there's no embarrassment these are common normal things I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, it it's real bad in fact I half was questioning if she broke her damn leg but she didn't it's hoof rot uh, I even got dad over here to take a good look at her and he's like, yeah, it's a pretty bad one But uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna give her a little surprise. I'm gonna go bring her a bale of hay I can promise you she's not gonna leave her corner. 
I'm gonna bring her a small square bale of hay for a little something to munch on. And if I'm lucky enough, and I know a lot of you are gonna laugh right now, uh, I'm gonna be bringing with me a shot of new floor. And we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the reason for the condition of this lot. <clears throat> I tried to do something good, it backfired on me, Mother Nature kicked me in the rear end, but uh, uh, I tell you what, it doesn't matter. What you're seeing here is a hell of a lot better than what you're seeing here, period. So, like I said, I think I feel just as good as the cows do right now. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, you, you could actually see a little dust, uh, uh, <laughs> some true legitimate dry spots uh, yesterday, last evening out here. But uh, that rain we got last night, that uh, it didn't help nothing, but uh, we're, we're pretty lucky thus far still. So uh, no complaints, Just take it as it comes. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you curious about? Get away. Get away. <laughs> Kick at me. <laughs> ah, they're happy and excited. That's good. This is good stuff. The hope and goal is that they beat the absolute living heck out of all that uh, corn fodder, <coughs> which I can already see that they're doing. Uh, and like I said, for probably a third time, that's going to be the nice base for a, uh, a whole bunch of spread uh, straw and soybean straw by a hay buster here in about another, I don't know, week, week and a half. It's, it's all Mother Nature dependent. To see how it looks um, of course with the exception of last night's rain we had a hell of a dry down time here today I know it might not look like it but we did obviously sun's out in full force tomorrow pure Sun uh, don't know what the temperature is gonna be but uh, our dry down continues to be uh, quite prolific here it's it's good stuff good stuff So, uh, I do have a couple of heifers that are showing signs of bagging up. They are not due for another two and a half weeks. But uh, old, old Eagle Eyes, uh, Dad, Dad spotted them. Uh, he was over a little while ago. And uh, they're, they're definitely creeping up on it. They're, they're starting to show signs of bagging. And for anybody that doesn't know, that means the udder. Um, the udder starts showing signs of bagging up <clears throat> you pigs know how expensive that shit is you don't do you you probably don't care all right that's 469 469 was in very bad shape uh, she does need to leave this farm <clears throat> uh, she's made a, a quite a good turn though uh, it, it might not look like it to you. I'm gonna go ahead and call 469. Okay, I got my numbers mixed up. The one back there with hoof rod is 439. 469, I'm gonna kind of call one of the matriarchs here. Um, and I'm sorry, but there needs to be a little bit of honor in that. Um, she She's taken a great turn. Now she's done. Her, her lifespan of, of producing calves for this farm is over. Um, but she's, she's come leaps and bounds. The, uh, the goal here is, is that she gets her health back here, you know, this late spring into early summer with grazing. And, you know, if she looks good and is doing well, um, I will have her taken care of for, uh, my and, uh, uh my family members, uh, um, needs. So right now no 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 we're gonna see how she does 
Will she pull out of it completely? Maybe not. That's, that's just life. We'll see what happens. Hope she does. She looks like hell, but uh, she's getting along real good compared to what she was weeks ago. I think this weather's helping that out a little bit too. But uh, yeah. Hey, Red. You got a calf in there? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you go on now. That's it, folks. It's a nice early Saturday evening. My day is just about done. I got a few other odds and ends to keep up on. Um, this really didn't go the way I told you it was going to go last evening, but uh, this is going to have to be uh, second best. Uh, you got to see uh, you got to see these cattle roughhouse a little bit, and you can see that they're all happy as all all get out. And um, things are good. Life is good. It's all right. And my lazy butt needs to go turn on the electricity, <clears throat> which means the electric fences, because they are all shut down, the entire farmstead, because I had a little bit of uh, joshing around to do with them. And uh, I'm going to end up with trouble if I don't get my butt in gear. Happy Saturday. Settle down, you little rough hosing son of a gun. Big bully. Jesus. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing okay. Having a fair weekend. <clears throat> In light of a lot of the changes and everything else that's going on right now. We won't even get into it. But uh, hope things are treating you well. Hope the weather's treating you okay. And, uh, We'll do a video tomorrow of something, probably uh, probably spreading manure. Uh, we're going to take care of the headlands of this year's sorghum field. And uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of jaw jacking about what my plan really is <coughs> this year for sorghum. I can't remember if I already got into it or not. I, I can't remember what happened yesterday, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, hope everybody's doing okay. We're going to talk to you sooner and later.